We're the girls from Down Under, live on cam.com. My name's Sharon, this is Bridget, Miss Erotica Australia Shannon, and the gorgeous Rennie. And we would like to welcome you all to the CES show. <laughs> Welcome to day three of the Consumer Electronics Show, where our feet hurt so yours don't have to. Let's take a look at the products we saw today. I'm Jeremy Toman. I'm the VP of Market Development for Sling Media. I'll be showing you today the Sling Box as well as the Sling Player for mobile devices. Excellent. And what is the Sling Box? Well, the Sling Box is this device I'm holding right here. This little product gets you your home TV feed from any internet connection anywhere in the world. So that's my TV in the backyard, that's my TV in the Starbucks, and that's my TV in the hotel room in Beijing. How does it do that? I mean, the, the internet isn't really known as a TV distribution method. How are we getting it over the internet to our client? Well, the box is basically, that's all it does. It's designed to take that analog video stream, so you hook up anything to it, a TiVo, a cable box, replay, satellite, whatever. It takes it in, encodes it into a Windows Media Video digital file, and streams that back out over the network, and we built something that we call Slingstream. And what Slingstream does is it watches your network conditions and always optimizes the video for the best it can be based on the current conditions. So that means you never get that buffering, please wait. It's just always smoothly streaming no matter where you are. And it's looking at the network conditions on the client side where the sling box is located, on the receiving side, or both? It's actually a little bit of both. So Slingstream watches the sling box, it watches the target device, whether that's the mobile phone or the laptop, and is always adjusting multiple times per second to make sure that the video keeps going nice and smooth. You can also get this to cell phones, it looks like. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, we launched this a couple days ago here at CES. Uh, this is the beta version of our Sling Player for mobile devices. It works on Windows Mobile 5 as well as Smartphone 2003. So all those iPacks with wireless built in that have been kind of sitting around for a little while just became portable TV sets. And so because Slingbox allows you to vary your condition, it will actually uh, drop the image quality down to an EVDO connection, for example, on your 6700 to be optimized for that phone. Is that correct? That's absolutely right. So right now I'm getting 20 frame per second, 200K video stream, but in a few minutes it might be 30 frame per second, 400K video stream. However the network conditions change, the Slingbox handles it no matter what. You sit there and you get to watch your video, as you see here in the small screen, but I can also go full screen with it, and it stays in the nice widescreen TV, TV normal ratios. I'm Chris Casper, a group manager for product marketing at Toshiba America Information Systems and uh, responsible for our notebook product line including our, our new Portage M400 tablet PC. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about the M400. Well the M400 is uh, our, our fourth generation of tablet PC. Uh, it is a 12-inch uh, uh, form factor including an integrated optical drive weighing in at about 4.7 pounds. Uh, it does support the uh, new Intel Core Duo processor, uh, bringing you dual core technology in a tablet PC. Is this your, is this your first dual core tablet? It is our first dual core tablet PC. Uh, we have introduced a full lineup of uh, notebook computers supporting uh, the Intel Core processor. Uh, however, for the tablet PC, this will be our first. And what can we expect from battery life from a computer like this under normal circumstances? Under normal circumstances, you, you'll typically see about three to four hours of battery life. Uh, the, the, the Portage M400 also supports an additional battery slice, which will extend it out to about eight hours. Uh, so you can use the tablet for the full workday. My name is Umber Pinsari. I'm with Google, and I'm representing Google Pack. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about Google Pack. What is it? The idea behind Google Pack is that you want to have all your essential software easily accessible in one place. You get a new computer, you set it up, you have to install all this new software. The idea behind Google Pack is to get that software in one place. Very so, what kind of software are we talking about here? So there's uh, Google software like the Google Toolbar and Google Desktop Search and uh, a lot of other third-party essential software like an antivirus program, anti-spyware program, a PDF reader, uh, and a media player. All right, so you mentioned all these different programs. These are all going to be installed. Uh, the antivirus, I believe, is a six-month trial, correct? Uh, that's correct. That's right. correct. So everything else is totally free? All the other software is completely free. Now, is this ad-supported, or is it just you're just giving it away? We're just giving it away. It's totally free. How cool is that? What is the status of the Google Moonbase? Okay, so I'll let you on a little secret. We're not allowed to comment on um, you know, future product plans, but we are looking for a launch partner to get up there. 